All right, welcome back to Live. In this video, we're going to start working with our mini board. In my case, it's the APC Mini. If you have another board, go ahead and make sure it's plugged in. To make sure we're good to go with our mini board that's located inside Show Express and it's imported correctly, Lighting Controller Preferences MIDI, have your mini board there and make sure there's a check mark status to indicate that it's talking to the software. Great. Okay, so to get things started, let's say we want to simply select our hex red and we want to mini map this scene to a button on our board. So for the example, you simply right click on the scene, button trigger, head over to MIDI, and you're going to select MIDI in and MIDI out. Next thing to do is go ahead and select learn and then select your button. The information comes in, looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and clone our MIDI in for our MIDI out. Looks good, data seven, set. Okay, let's go ahead and simply apply it. Now as you can see, when I turn on the button, it go ahead and turns on the scene. So that is simply how you mini map a button. Beautiful. So now let's go ahead. As you can see, I turn off the scene. It goes blank. Turn on the scene, it goes green. But what if you want to change the colors? Well, we can. So let's go ahead, right click, button trigger, and we're going to focus on data to on and data to off section. It's currently set to auto. That's by default. But if you do a drop down menu, you're going to see a lot of numbers. So for my APC Mini, this is a green, red, and yellow color MIDI board. Other MIDI boards have multiple colors, which affects these numbers. So in this case, for the APC Mini, this is how my colors are laid out. On number one, it's green. Number two, it's blinking green. Three is red. Four is blinking red. Five is yellow. Six is blinking yellow. So let's go ahead and change our colors. So where it says data on, this is when you activate the scene. Which color do you want? So let's go ahead and do a blinking green. When it's on and when it's off, let's do a red on three. Go ahead and apply, reset. When it's on, it's blinking green. When it's off, it's red. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and back. Maybe change the color. Let's say let's do a red when it's on and let's do a solid yellow when it is off. On, off. So that is how you get started with mini mapping your button to your scenes. All right, see you on the next video.